Welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. Today I'm going to be making a large wood lantern out of paint sticks that I got from Home Depot. The cost is under $2. It's amazing what you can do with paint sticks. Okay, so if you're going to make this project, what you're going to need is two packs of the paint sticks, the small version of the paint sticks from Home Depot, or you can get them anywhere, Walmart or any hardware store. It's the small the smaller paint sticks. They come in 12 a pack. You're going to basically use them all. I believe I used 22 or 23 of them. So you're going to want to paint your paint sticks prior to putting it together. You can either use paint or you can stain it or you can leave it the natural wood. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take two of the paint sticks and you're going to glue it together um, forming like a corner for the lantern. You will need four total. You're also going to take six of the paint sticks and you're going to cut it in half. So I'm sanding down the rough edges right now. Um, I cut mine prior. Um, we're going to use them for the bottom base and for the corners. So my corners are glued and my half pieces are cut. Now I'm going to start using the white chalk paint and start painting everything. So these lanterns you can basically decorate for any holiday. That's what I'm going to use mine for. You can use it for Thanksgiving, Halloween, Christmas, summer, spring. You can change anything inside candles, lights, everything. And it's only $2. So okay, so now I completed all the painting. Now I'm going to take the two corner pieces and hot glue to the sides. And I'm going to use the same process on all four sides. These are the half pieces that I cut down. Um, the other half that I have, they have that uh, uneven end at the end. I'm going to use that for the bottom part of it. So now they're both finished, I'm going to um, finish hot gluing and make sure that <laughs> they're not loose. Um, if you're going to make this, I probably would use wood glue with some hot glue to make a stronger bond. Um, so now I'm going to take them two together and I'm going to take another piece of the six inch piece of wood that I cut and I'm going to hot glue that in there and continue the top portion of it and then the other side of it.
So I'm taking these six inch pieces of wood and completing the bottom half of it. So now it's making a little box at the bottom as well. So I need something for my lantern to sit on. So I took some cardboard and took the half size leftover paint sticks and hot glued them, six of them. Now I'm going to take this piece, hot glue it to the bottom of the lantern. So I'm just topping it off a little more glue at the top, just making sure it's secure. So I'm taking some nautical rope and I'm uh, taking it apart. There's like three pieces and I'm going to take some of the uh, painter's tape and I'm going to tape it to the front of it and then I'm going to start braiding it. I'm going to create a handle for the lantern. You don't have to use this step if you don't want to use a, a nautical rope for a handle. You can use anything. Um, I just decided to go with it because I'm not putting a top on the lantern. So now that it's complete, now I'm going to take the ends and I'm going to wrap it with the twine um, just so it doesn't unravel. And then I'm going to cut the ends and make it a little more neater. Now I'm going to hot glue it to the top. And I'm going to actually glue it inside and roll it around the top, if that makes sense. So there's many ways to make a lantern. Um, a lot of people use Dollar Tree picture frames, um, but you know you have to spend four or five dollars for the picture frames. Um, this is the cheapest way I came up with. That's uh, under two dollars. Um, like I said, it's pretty good size, and you can utilize it for any holidays. Um, I just thought you know it'd be something really quick and easy, and you can utilize it for any occasion. I wanted to distress it a little bit because it's so white. So I took some elephant paint and I'm just putting a little bit all around and just, you know, giving it a little bit of color. So now I'm putting the sides on. Um, I'm only, only using one paint stick. You can use two. I decided to go with just one um, on all the sides. Um, it's optional. A lot of people use two, but I thought the one was fine. So here I have a candle that I used in a previous um, other craft and some uh, greenery that I got from Walmart and I'm going to stick that inside the lantern and just 
give it a little color and make it look pretty. Like I said, you can dial this up for any holidays like um, Halloween's coming up, fall. You can put leaves in there and lights and just change it up as much as you like. And I'm just showing you what you can do to it. I mean, um, a lot of my holiday stuff are packed away, so I couldn't really show you what that would look like. But I think you get the idea. Um, it's very easy, very cute. So I'm just using some greenery and flowers that I got from Dollar Tree and Walmart and just trying to give it a little bit of color. Um, you can use your imagination. You can use any type of flowers. You can use some lights. I think Christmas time, you definitely can deck it out. I mean, with the colors for Christmas, the green, the reds, I think it would look really amazing. So now it's completed and this is what it looks like. I think it's really adorable. Okay, that's it for this video, guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.